you know, we think about it, and we decided not to play some Wraithborn. It is a silly game. Not really that silly, but you get the idea. John! Oh, and welcome back, it's Jabby. The TVs are this way, remember? Yep, they're this way. Also, we should probably talk to you. We already talked to you. I had a brain fart. <laughs> the fuss! The drollery. This program is a riot a minute. Salomon! Out of the way, you cotton headed muppet. You're blocking the view. Oh, it's you too. Here for a glimpse of the old boob tube as well. I never realized how positively entertaining it could be. Where's Isabelle's rocket? What's that? You need a socket. I'm afraid you'll have to find another. This one's already taken. Aww. What have you done? Biscuit Monster is about to just make his appearance. What are you looking at, you fool? You want to fight, is that it? Yes, yeah, always the fisticuffs with you, isn't it? Isabelle's rocket! Where is it? Isabel, you say? That's a name I haven't heard in not a long time. Yes, I believe I attach a remote control to it. Yes. Where I left it, however, is a bit foggy. Ah! Yes! It's in that train of mine, now I remember. John, let's go check it out. Wait right there! Turn that delightful program back on, if you would be so kind. Boop! Let's go! Do your thing. Bravo on the timing! Get it, whoizzles. Banana milk. Banana. Full on milk. Full on that. Buy one of those. These are foods. Not too bad compared to other things, but water. It's morning glory. Making sure on all my shopping needs. Sonic Boom! Uh. Daniel? What you doing? There you guys are. William, what you doing? Yeah, now we don't have to worry about that stupid fog. <laughs> oh, I spy with my little eye a spiggity spark of treasure. Hmm? What's this switch doing here? Yeah. 
God dang it, William. Oh dear. Right away, monkey train. Monkey train. Monkey train. Daniel to the rescue. Ah, they're in monkey control. This stupid remote control doesn't even work. You don't think he was lying, do you? Let me take a look. Don't press it too hard now. Ah, it's out of power. Give me a sec. There, try it again. Click. Quiz time! Hello and good evening, my delectable little maggots. And welcome to Solomon's wonderful game of knowledge where no one at all dies. Maggots? That's not very nice. How remarkably insightful of you, Mr. Socially Melodraught. I couldn't help but notice a significant drop in viewers lately. So for this episode, I'm proud to announce that I'm offering a special prize! <laughs> what could the special prize be, I wonder? Perhaps... Lord Solomon's coveted treasure? Or maybe it's a lamp of, capable of granting your deepest desires. Or... It could even be a get out of Harvest free card. Wrong, wrong, all wrong. None of those boring old things could ever have the privilege of being called a special prize. Quite loquacious for an evil mastermind. I thought he'd be a lot scarier. No, the special prize is none other than the one, the only, rocket that once belonged to Isabel. Just how far did he plan these things out? You heard that right, my darling maggots. I'm referring to that Isabel. Rocket, did you hear that? He said rocket. I can already feel your little fingers wriggling themselves with desire. Then let us begin this 560th episode of Solomon's wonderful game of knowledge. And, oh, it's too long to say the rest. First question. The largest point in the east referred to as the shining pearl of the coast is where? Is it A, Waiwa Bay? Or B, Esther City Harbor? White Whale Bay. One of the names of old, yes. What do you think, Daniel? I remember White Whale Bay from the first time we met Sam. Such speed! Shall we choose A2? Wait, wait. I can't help but feel this might be a trap. Though it may have once been a harbor, the region is now a forest and sprawl of mountains. No, I believe Esther City Harbor may be the answer we're looking for. And that should be. Uh, I want to say harbor, but. Are you maggots ready for the answer? It's White Whale Bay! Yay! Sam's doing good! And anyone who answered wrong is a foolish twit! We were wrong. Hush. Not even those monkeys could have gotten such an easy question wrong. 
Anyone who'd expect to win a special prize by answering such easy questions is an equally foolish twin. But I digress. Second question! The Roadcaster City is shrouded in a strange fog. What is the fog that runs from us? Is it A, direction, or B, time? This one's so hard! What are you gonna choose, Daniel? Uh, I guess maybe direction? When I was driving the iron carbine, I could barely see through the fog. Huh. I guess I'll choose direction two then. Time. Are you ready for the answer? It is time! Surely no one was imbecilic enough to actually choose direction. <laughs> right then. The warm-up is over. Shall we <laughs> speed things up a bit? Third question. What is the ultimate goal for us harvesters? A. To destroy mankind? Or B. To create a new, more advanced mankind? That certainly took a dark turn. Sam already answered. Why does this feel so serious all of a sudden? At any rate, shall we go with B? No! The harvest does nothing but destroy! Of course, of course. I was only joking. You gotta think on what he would answer as. And of course, the answer is... Kinda new, more advanced mankind! That's wrong! You're not creating a new anything. All you do is destroy. I imagine a few dullards in the audience likely answered that question wrong. <laughs> but what more could you expect? Animals like you couldn't dream of understanding the sheer complexities of us higher beings. At any rate, we're rapidly approaching the show's climax. It's time for the final question. The question that transcends time. The ultimate question of the universe. When the world descends into the darkness of darkness, darkest of darkness, who is it that shall be its guiding light? Is it A, Lord Solomon, or B, Lord Solomon? Maybe he shout your answer to the world. I don't even know what the answer is. I'm afraid we must if we have any hope of finding that rocket. Lord Solomon. Well, aren't you, Mr. Confident? Eh, fine. Now then, let's take a look at all your beautiful little answers. At any rate, you did manage to answer the ultimate question of the universe correctly. So I'll just go ahead and give you the prize anyway. <laughs> Great argument, but... This is it. This is Esabelle's rocket. It's real banged up. And the real one this time. How far... T what's with that face, William? Now we should have plenty of power. Really? The speed of the iron carbine and the explosive power of the rocket, it just might work. The only problem is the fuel. Do we have enough for both? There's no way to know until we try. Daniel? Yes, sir. I'll leave the rest to you. Yes, sir. They're here. What's this? Everyone's here. He's on the midnight train. 
Huh? What's that? The name of our next blockbuster production, darling. <laughs> That's right. We decided to immortalize your endeavors in film. This it is from the world of fog. We crushed the shackles of time. And gave the world from destruction. Oh. You guys. It's just like you said, isn't it? This disaster befell your city. And now you're journeying into Esther City to save your friends, are you not? I think you'll have no problems accomplishing, darling. Yeah, we'll definitely be able to do it. Good luck. Oh. I await news of your glorious victory with painted breath, darling. And we'll wait for you to return before holding the grand premiere. Who knows how long that will be? Like, literally, who knows? Perfect. And the brakes are ready and raring to go. As adept as always, my animatronic associate. It was actually easier than I expected. But what a weird rocket. The power unit itself is simple. But it has three emergency escape systems. Curious. I suppose whoever designed it must have been greatly concerned for the pilot. At any rate. It would appear we're go for launch as they say. Time to test it. Is the rocket even working? I don't feel any difference. The rocket consumes a surprising amount of fuel. So we should save it until the crucial moment. Impeccable work, Daniel. Now then, where is that garish opponent of ours? There, the fog! The fog. Our foggy day. Seems your old friend is here to pay a visit again. But they chug it. Daniel, prepare for battle. Roger that. Increasing speed. Output 50, 70, 90. Full speed ahead. Deja vu. It's catching up. Activate it, rocket. All ship system. Ooh, that looks great. It also activated its rocket propulsion system. It's still gaining on us. Faster, we need to go faster. The cooling system can't keep up. The engine's gotta keep. If only we had that old coin of mine. This coin? The heat! Oh, sorry, that's Sandra. The heat, it's stabilizing! What happened? Sorry again, that's Sandra. What happened? Don't mind that. Just get this thing moving as fast as it can go. The lucky coin is here. Hello. 
looks like we've lost it. There would appear we've succeeded. At this rate, we'll be at Esther City in no time. We're on the road to Esther City. How do you define cold? Is it low temperature or the absence of temperature altogether? Esther City is cold. To the point that time itself is frozen. At the edge of the world, hope and perseverance go unanswered. The way back is covered in snow. And on the horizon, a candlelight flickers. What is that? Could it be Isabel? Could Alva be there? Hurry, John. We need to catch up with that light. Monk Hollywood! To be continued. Save current progress. Yeah! We'll check out Esther City next time! And until then, guys, we've left Monk Hollywood, and I'll be seeing you next time. Well then, this is Jabby sign now. Have a good one.